Hello, hello. Welcome to today's journey. We are in Madison, Wisconsin at Fuki Hot Pot. The address is 2143 Zaire Road, right near the East Town Mall. So come check it out with us. And uh, we got a full pass to pay. You can do that this one, this for the bowl. So you can choose for two pounds. Okay. You can look in the shoes first. You know? <laughs> well, not super. Yeah, you need to okay. choose the super first. Later you can scan the this whole. Oh, okay, for bowl. the meat. Yes. So we're going to do the spicy marrow broth. Mm -hmm. Spicy marrow broth. And the mushroom soup base. Mushroom and spicy, you know, okay. 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 You want regular spicy or want less or extra spicy? Just regular, regular spicy. spicy. Regular spicy, it's okay. So, yeah. uh, you can scan the miscount right now. Okay. Uh, inside we've got anything food for this time. You can choose very easy. So at the table there is a QR code here and you just scan it with your phone. The first thing that comes up, it's asking for selecting your party size and um, it tells you your table number. So, and then it gives you the pictures of all the meat that you are able to pick and then they will come to the table. So our broth just arrived. We got the spicy and the mushroom. Oh. Now we're down in noodles. So there's wide bean I don't noodle. think I want the wide bean. I got probably the rice have... cakes. <laughs> oh, yeah. that might be good in the that spicy. I would either get the dry egg or the sweet rice cakes. One of those two. So it's rice cakes. Thank you. So we got delivered our mussels and some sort of meatball, I don't remember what he got. Our shrimp, we've got some pork belly over here I think, and then that must be the regular beef there. Our rice and napa cabbage. Oh, and there's our rice cakes. So if you've never done hot pot before, usually there is some sort of station that has um, different sauces that you can make your own dipping sauce with. So I will show you the station here. So this is the sauce area. They do have fruit on this side. So cantaloupe and honeydew and pineapple and grapes. And then this is the sauce section. So they do have everything labeled for you. So. There are recipes on the wall if you don't know what to put in your sauce bowl. But everything is basically to taste. So if you like lots of garlic, you can add lots of garlic. If you like green onions, you can do that. There's cilantro, there's peanuts, there's like hoisin sauce and barbecue sauce. All kinds of good sauce that you can use. On the back wall, there's some Wasabi and sesame oil, and looks like some vinegar. I've been waiting for my brother to pick me up about three hours. I'm getting tired now. So I have some low sodium soy sauce, <laughs> and I like sesame oil. And green onions, or scallions. Cilantro. Garlic. And they have this robot that delivers your food. So, they give you tongs and you usually use these just for the raw meat. And then sometimes they give you other utensils so they can use it for once the stuff is cooked. So this is pork belly. I'm going to put it in the spicy broth. And it doesn't take very long. And I've, sometimes you lose it too, but oops. So. 
and I went up and made my dipping sauce. Not bad. Mm. This must be onions. Mm. 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 One of some rice cakes. So you just kind of drop things in as you decide that you're going to eat them. Um, otherwise, things can get overcooked really fast. I thought I lost my rice cake, but I found it. Oh, oh. sure. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. So what he was doing is, because this is always boiling, um, sometimes the broth kind of goes down. So he fills it um, some more with broth. So. Hmm. Good. So like I said, you can put more than just a couple things in at a time, but you tend to, to lose them or they can get overcooked. So, but. so when we asked for the spicy broth, they asked if you want it regular spicy, if you want it less spicy or more spicy. This is a, a good broth. It's got good heat to it. I don't know if you can see, but there's tons of chili peppers in here. There's garlic in here, and then there's scallions. And I haven't tried the, the mushroom broth yet. But that one looks good too. Mm -hmm. So next I'm going to try a mussel. So, I'm going to put it in the spicy one. That should be a little bit easier to find. Do you have any pork belly yet? I had pork belly. I didn't try that beef yet. In here. So the meat is frozen when you put yep. it in there. Yeah. Well, I was trying to tell Alyssa about this yes yesterday. So it's thought out when it's sitting here. Yeah, like this is pretty much thought out. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what you like. So far, I like everything. Meat's good. Sauce, you make your own sauce. So, I'll remake your sauce. You make it. Mine's a little tangy. I put a little vinegar in there. So Chinese vinegar really gave it a little kick. Yeah. Shrimp were really good. Mussels were good. Um, I haven't had any pork belly yet. So, that's all around too. It's good. The beef is good. The whole experience is always good. It, be, it would be fun with a group. Yeah, the table's huge, so it would be easy with a group you do, you of people. You could do four easy on here. The shrimp are head on, so lots of flavor there. So once they're done cooking, you will have to peel them. Yep. 
yeah, those are good shrimp. There's lots of flavor to them. A lot of sweetness. More and more of those. I would definitely get the spicy broth again. Just has more flavor than the mushroom one. So there's uh, beef. Or beef and both. Yeah, so the meat is so thin that it doesn't take very long to cook at all. So another reason why you just uh, put food in as you're going to eat it so that you don't forget about it and lose it in your broth. Here comes the robot. It might be coming to us. Here comes the robot. Nope, not coming to us. We just got our second order, so we've got some more pork belly, we got broccoli, we got our glass noodles, we got napa cabbage, we got some quail eggs, we got boneless duck feet, and some more shrimp. And there's Mr. Robot. Among all of us, I've never tried boneless duck feet. Gotta try them. It's even the store. See how they cook up. Did you put them all in there? Yeah. Don't, for don't forget about them. How long do they cook? I have no idea. Anybody want, want to come here and cook almost duck feet? How many plus to eat them? Does it taste like chicken feet? <laughs> Having something new today. Duck feet. Kind of like chicken feet. Does it have any flavor? Just the sauce. Yeah. It's like eating cartilage. Oh. So something you probably wouldn't order again. Nope. I do like the pork belly. I think I like that the best out of all the meat. Well, besides the shrimp, but of the non-seafood meat. Shrimp are work. Getting full. It's because you're getting the steam. You're getting a steam bath. That's it. Sit off to the side. You can see the windows. Steaming up the windows. We got quail eggs. I've never had quail eggs before. That's why deviled eggs on the inside. That's very interesting. They're just creamy. Yeah, it's creamy on the inside. It's just the yolk. So a tonight's journey has brought us to Fuki Hot Pot. So you get seated at a booth and there is a heat source right in the middle of the table. They bring you your broth. That's the first thing that you uh, order when you get to the table. They ask you what two kinds of broth that you want. This is the full menu. So here are the soup bases. So those are the ones that you get to choose from. And there is a tomato soup base, a pork bone soup base, a mushroom soup base, a spicy marrow broth, and best of both worlds, which is half and half. Um, there is cold drinks up front where you get your sauces made. So the sauce is however you want to make it. It is um, all by your choice. So there's soy sauce up there and sesame oil, um, sriracha, things like that. Mine had some sesame oil and soy sauce and cilantro and green onions and lots of garlic. But if you want it spicier, they do have uh, some sriracha and different hot sauces and you can actually make it sour if you like it, uh, they do have vinegar as well. So, so this is the main menu, but everything is on the app. So there is a QR code at the table that you will use your phone to scan. And 
and then they will bring you all the meat. They do have one of those fancy robots that can deliver, but unfortunately he didn't come to our table, but I did get video of him. Uh, so there's lots of choices, lots of meat or vegetarian options for you. And then um, at the end, when you're done, they actually give you some wet wipes, so that's very nice. We just finished our dinner at Fuki Hot Pot. It was delicious. I am very full. Our server, Ryan, was very helpful, and it was a great experience. So go ahead and check it out, and thanks for joining today's journey.